This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Teresa Brandenburg is joining us. She serves as the chair of the Kansas Soybean Expo Committee. And coming up on Wednesday, January the 11th, will be the 2017 Kansas Soybean Expo. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should be time again, but we are geared up for a great day for our soybean growers. That will be at 9 o'clock at Heritage Hall and the Manor Conference Center at the Kansas Expo Center. And you've got a great lineup for the Kansas Soybean Expo. We're going to start at 8.30 with registration. And at 9 o'clock, we're going to have some welcomes from both the KSA president and the KSC chairman. And right after that, we're going to jump into some partner updates from some of those folks that really assist the soybean industry. And then we're doing things a little different this year. Instead of a morning keynote, we've actually decided to give some of our hometown guys, these K-State Research and Extension guys, some more time in the morning. So we've actually extended out those sessions. Instead of doing the round tables like we did last year where we changed rooms, we just extended out those times to give these guys more time to share their research. And so we're pretty excited about that. Who are some of the people from K-State they'll be hearing from? We're actually going to have Bill Shapaw, and he's going to be talking about searching for genes and new gene combinations. And then Dallas Peterson is obviously going to be talking about weeds. That's always a thing we need to know about. And there's always a chance to recognize those who had outstanding 2016 years, specifically what came out of the ground, what came from their harvest, too. That's right. Our yield contest has become a a huge part of the expo. And actually, this year, we have moved that to our afternoon session, actually, to give us more time to recognize those folks. Kansas soybeans is a growing industry. We're so proud of what our farmers are doing. And so we wanted to make sure we had adequate time to recognize those outstanding yields. So we're actually going to be doing the luncheon like we have in years past. We're going to have uh, Tracy Streeter from the Kansas Water Office joining us, as well as our Kansas Soybean Association annual meeting. And then after the luncheon, in our afternoon session, we'll have a awards and recognition. And then we've got a really great treat after that. Daryl Holiday is going to be joining us for our afternoon session, giving a talk called Managing the Economic Shifts in U.S. and World Production Agriculture. So really informative day. And then we're going to wind that down with a reception with the Kansas Soybean Association and commission leaders. Teresa, if people want more information or would like to register for the Kansas Soybean Expo, what's the best way they can do that? Um, You can go on our website, which is kansassoybeans.org, or you can call 877-KS-SOYBEAN for more information. Pre-registration is up. Go online, register, and we hope to see you there Wednesday, January 11th at the Kansas Expo Center. That is Teresa Brandenburg, who serves as the chair of the Kansas Soybean Expo Committee. She joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Stay with us after the break for more Farm Factor as Dwayne visits with Tracy Bruner. Biodiesel, made from sustainable resources, is diversifying our fuel supply. This year, biodiesel will displace over a billion gallons of fossil fuel nationwide. It's making our economy stronger and our communities healthier. It's working here and across America. Get biodiesel going in your community. Visit americasadvancedbiofuel.com. 